So at this point, I've worked with many of the top travel companies in the world and I've charged multiple five figures for a lot of projects, but it wasn't always this way. Six years ago, I was stuck at zero. I had no clients, I had no retainers, and I had no business. And the weird part is I thought I was doing all the right things. Like I was literally doing exactly what they were telling me to do. I bought the Guru's $29 ebook in their course, and then I copied and pasted their email outreach template to all the brands that apparently pay more than $1,000. And then I repeated until I either got bored or I quit. And guess what? I barely got any responses and the ones that I did were just basically, hey, all we do is a free trade. And at that time, I was also working on big productions like movies and commercials just behind the scenes as a PA. But I remember one project in particular where the budget was $300,000 and that like blew my mind. So obviously I was stoked to see the final product because I thought it was like an Oscar worthy production, right? But when I saw it, I was actually a little bit confused. Like, Yes, it was good, but honestly, after seeing the final product, I thought that I could make something very similar for like five to 10,000. So I was asking myself like, what the heck is that production company doing that I am not? And that's when I realized that these production companies, marketing agencies that have been around for 10 plus years, had a very different strategy than what all the creator gurus were teaching me. And in fact, it was pretty much the exact opposite. So in this video, I wanna show you the exact strategy that I use to grow my content agency to $20,000 a month profit using the growth creator model. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay to the end because in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategy that I use to go from absolutely no clients to working with the top companies without utilizing my social media, the psychological trick that I use to get clients to ask me to pitch them, and how to make the competition completely relevant so you never get asked to be discounted and you basically become a one of one and how you can do all of this in just an hour a day to scale to 10 to twenty thousand dollars a month profit now one of the reasons i love the growth creator model so much is because it's literally the most predictable way to sign two to four new high ticket clients every single month predictably now obviously i love signing clients but what i love even more than signing clients is only selling them once and being able to work with them every single month on a retainer because it's basically like you just give yourself a salary I mean, I don't know about you, but I didn't really get into this industry to just send a bunch of emails and pitch people all day. I got here because I wanted to work with a few clients that I actually am passionate about and then have the rest of my time to be free, to chill, to travel, or do whatever the heck else I want without having to worry about where my next gig is coming from. Now, last thing before we get into the actual tactics is if you've been on Instagram at all for the last like six to 12 months, you've probably noticed that every Instagram creator guru is basically teaching the exact same thing. And it doesn't matter if you're a travel creator or a brand creator or UGC or whatever, like, but it's literally all the same. It's basically cold pitch some clients that they give you a list of who to contact and then pitch them on a collab. And then if they don't respond or they don't want to pay, than just like take them up on a free gig. And that's pretty much what everybody is teaching. But the thing I love about the growth creator model is it positions you as an authority. So clients view you as an expert before you ever hop on an email or a call. So you end up bypassing the whole thing where they're like, who are you? We don't even know who you are. And then they ended up just asking for a discount or probably in most cases, a free collab. But I mean, let's be honest. If they were talking to these production companies or marketing agencies that have been around that we're talking about, they're 100% not offering a free collab to those people. So they are doing something that you're not and I'm about to show you what that is. So before implementing this model, I would get on these calls with clients and it would basically go something like this. They would say, hey, what do you do? I would tell them and then they'd be like, okay, interesting. We'll add you to our vendor list. We'll call you later if we need you. And then they will proceed to never call me again, right? But the crazy thing about this model is it actually allows you to build trust with them before you ever get on a call. So they're far more likely to actually want to pay you money. All right, so why the heck should you listen to me? And what the heck is the growth creator model? And why is it the best model out there to grow to $20,000 a month minimum with your content agency. So like I said, I started my creator journey around six years ago and I did what everyone did. I thought I had to grow a following. So I went the influencer route, tried to grow this big following. And then I just found that that had some kinks in it. So I tried to go with the content creator route. But on either way, I was kind of just getting suffocated by the competition because there's so many people joining the industry that are actually really talented. So I kind of saw the writing on the wall. And I was like, if I don't change, then I'm just gonna be driven down to zero. So I had to make a shift. So I studied the process that these major marketing companies and production companies were using to get clients and retain them. And it's honestly something that pretty much every creator has missed for some reason. But the weird part is that they've actually been implementing this for decades. So as soon as I started implementing it, now I've ended up working with some of the top companies in the world, Hyatt, Four Seasons, Marriott, Royal Caribbean, just to name a few. And on top of that, I've helped 
dozens of other creators in my Paid to Create program implement the Growth Creator model to be able to get insane results for themselves as well. I mean, here's my client, Andrew, for example, who signed up with me when he was tired of just taking a bunch of low budget, one-off projects. And within just four months, he scaled to $18,000 a month. And here's the kicker. He actually took on less clients, got paid more per client, and he's only working with the clients that he actually is passionate about. Or Mowgli, who implemented our pitching methods and his client literally read the entire pitch deck and said, we want the top package, just send us the invoice. Basically as close as you can get to shut up and take my money, right? And he's done this exact same thing multiple times over the past few months. And by the way, that was a $4,000 package. And I could keep going, but honestly, my goal is to give you the step-by-step -step blueprint of how to implement this into your business so that you can scale to a minimum of 20,000 a month with your content business, because honestly, the growth creator model is the best way to do that. And by the way, if you want my personal help implementing this growth creator model into your business, then you can click the link in the description below to apply for a free game plan call. If you qualify, we'll get on the call, we'll ask you some questions about your business. And if it's a fit, we'll give you an opportunity to work together. All right, so how does the growth creator model actually work? Well, there's actually three core phases of every single business, including this one. You got the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, and the bottom of the funnel, or how I like to explain it, you have attention, you have education, and you have conversion. So let's break it down. All right, so we'll start at the top of the funnel or the attention phase. So you can be the most talented creator in the entire world, but if no one knows who you are, you aren't gonna have any clients. Now, there's obviously a bunch of ways that you can get the attention of the people that would hire you. You can do organic content, you can do ads, you can do email, you can do cold DMs, all kinds of different things. But personally, I don't know about you, but I like not just signing clients, but actually knowing how many clients per month I can sign kind of on a consistent basis. And in my opinion, the absolute best way to do that is to use an outbound strategy that I call precision prospecting. So really my goal for you is that you have the exact blueprint that you can implement to get two to four high ticket clients over the next month or so. And the reason that I prefer outbound to ads or organic is not because I like to just waste a bunch of time sending emails, but actually because I like to be hyper targeted on exactly the target client I want to work with. And on top of that is literally the most predictable way to get in front of exactly who you want to get in front of on a predictable basis every single day. Because you can post on Instagram all day or run ads or whatever, but there's really no guarantee that that you'll actually get in front of the people that can hire you. And even if they do, a lot of times they just assume that you're willing to work for free or super cheap just because they box you in with all the other influencers who are willing to do that too. So instead of all that, I recommend implementing this outbound strategy because it's gonna allow you to get those consistent leads every day and the ones you actually want to work with. And the way I do it is usually a hybrid model. It's kind of a mixture between Instagram and email. And you can use other methods if you want to. Those are just my preferences. Now your goal here is really to get the contact of the decision maker that could actually hire you. So you don't want generic emails like contact at brand.com or info at brand.com or something like that. Like th those are useless to you. You want either the marketing manager, the sales director, or if it's a smaller company, it could be like the GM or potentially even the owner. Once you have that contact, you're gonna send them a message and you're going to ask permission to share some value. So typically I like to offer value in the form of a video. Usually I'll do like a content strategy breakdown or something similar to that, which is super important for the reasons that you'll see in stage number two. Now, the key here is that you don't just wanna reach out to any random brand that you find on Instagram. Like you don't want to be hitting up Nike and like the biggest brands in the world because literally everyone's doing that and you're going to have a much harder time getting in front of them. So instead you want to find the exact client that you can work with where you can get them a quick win within like say a week of working together. And that way you're going to have a much higher chance of the client actually being interested in working with you, actually getting on a call, you actually closing them and being able to charge them multiple four figure deals. It can be much harder when you deal with larger companies and have to go through all the bureaucracy. Again, that's a stage that we get to later. Now, now, there's also other pieces of the top of the funnel. You can do like organic Instagram content. You could do YouTube. You could do website stuff. Oh, there's all kinds of different things, which are all definitely important, but they don't mean anything if you're not getting in front of the right people every single day. So that's why I recommend having that consistent outbound system. Now, once we have our client's attention, now we have to move them down the funnel to the middle of the funnel. And this is honestly where the magic happens. And it's also where most of the Instagram creator growth guru people kind of drop off. And it's probably also the reason that you get a lot of free collapse. See, the reason that your emails or your calls get ignored or people just don't seem to care that much once they're on the call with you is because they don't really have a reason to care. They don't trust you. They haven't been educated, which is why stage two is really all about education. So generating the attention at the outset is one thing, like right? that's definitely important. But what you do with that attention once you have it is way more important in my opinion. And it's really what makes or breaks the deal. Okay. So now that we have those people's attention, it really becomes our job to educate them on why they should care enough to actually book a call to hear more about our services. Now there's a few 
few key mechanisms that we can implement throughout the middle of the funnel here to really spur on this education phase and really push the client towards the bottom of the funnel where we can actually collect cash. So the first mechanism is sending what I call a video sales letter. So remember earlier when I was talking about sending that value video? Well, here's where that comes into play. So what you want to do through this video is identify the core result that the client is after and then identify a plan to help them get to that core result through your content. And then it obviously helps if you have like client case studies or testimonials to kind of back up that claim. Now, this video doesn't have to be long and it also doesn't have to be like a cinematic masterpiece, but the client does have to leave the video understanding four things. What you do, how you do it, why they should care, and what their next step is, which if you are following this plan, your next step should almost always be to get on a call with you. So that's the VSL. Now, the second mechanism that you can implement to educate your client prior to getting on a call is a pre-call sequence. And this is basically just an automated sequence of emails that kind of nurtures and educates your client before they get on the call with you. And honestly, this is so underutilized. So most people honestly don't even have this. And if they do, it's just like reminder emails, like just, hey, show up to the call. But you are missing out on a golden opportunity to get in front of and build trust with a client who has shown clear interest in working with you. So if you don't take advantage of this, you're actually missing out on a huge opportunity. But I also implement a few other things. So first I have a confirmation email and then I have a 24 hour reminder email, which goes out 24 hours before the call, just basically reminding them that the, the call is scheduled and that they should show up. So those are pretty standard, but I also include a free training email. So this goes out uh, pretty much exactly when they book the call. And it is a prerequisite that I want clients to watch prior to the call so that they understand my offer and exactly what we're uh, planning on doing for them. So typically this is a little bit longer, maybe 10 to 20 minutes max. I also include one to two case studies in separate emails, and this should be clients getting like insane results. So the goal here is that clients know that you've gotten results in the past and they don't have to ask you once you're on the call uh, and you don't have to waste time with that because the core thing I want you to understand here is that clients do not buy content they buy you and they buy the results that the content brings them which brings me to the third education mechanism which is probably honestly the most important of them all which is client case studies so if you don't have hard evidence of your clients actually having success working with you it becomes super difficult to close anybody and usually takes multiple multiple calls but if you have hard evidence of actually helping people in the past then it becomes much much easier to actually close clients because when a client sees that other companies have had success working with you then they trust you more and they're also more inclined to ask you about your service which basically means they want you to pitch them which brings me to the bottom of the funnel or the conversion phase which even more magic happens here so this is where we take the client's call we present our offer and our solution to what they're trying to achieve and then ultimately we collect the cash and if you've set up your funnel correctly up until now it should be a pretty simple process so there's actually a really simple framework that I call target, which is kind of like a script that we can take our clients from basically a complete stranger on the internet to somebody who's willing to pay us thousands of dollars over the course of a 30 minute meeting. So assuming that you have the rest of the funnel dialed in and you got a really good educational and nurturing section of the middle of the funnel, then here's some like conservative, realistic numbers that you can kind of work off of to start building your content business as soon as today. So if we're trying to hit our goal of two new clients this month, assuming a 25% close rate, which is pretty conservative, you'd be looking at having to take eight sales calls over the course of the next month, which is just two per week. And assuming that you get a 5% positive response rate on your initial outreach emails, you'd be looking at only having to send around 160 emails total. So if we break that down over the course of 20 working days, you'd only have to send like eight emails every single day, which should honestly take you less than an hour. So that's the full breakdown of the growth career model and how you can implement it. So if you just watch this video and you're like, man, Nash, I really wish you could help me implement this growth creator model into my business, then go ahead and click the link in the description below to apply for a free game plan call. You'll end up talking to a member of my team who asks you some questions about your business. Just make sure that it's actually a good fit for us to work together. And if so, we'll give you the options of what that might look like. So go ahead and click that link if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.